we've just parked up. So we moved the car from where we was parked, didn't we? Yeah. And followed all the signs for the hotel car parking to realise that it's just kind of the back of the car park that you still get parked after when you're at the parks. And it's actually really, really full. We only just managed to get a space. Um, but luckily we have got a space right near what I think is the entrance. Oh, this is the entrance to the water park. Oh, okay. So we haven't seen any of this before. So that there is the entrance to the Splash Landings. Oh no, Hotel and Water Park it says. Sorry, it does say Hotel and Water Park. So we're gonna go round and have a little, a little look at um, So it does say there's an outdoor water area as well, but I don't know where that would be. There's all that there. Let's see. Just trying to put my mask on. I know you don't have to at the minute, but we um we have seen anyway. Let's see. I think I can see. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like that's um, check in there where you check in for the hotel. Then there's lots of different things here. Um, so you can go down the stairs there. This just looks like a general food area or something. So just like a general food area. I think, I think it's food area. Right, I'm going to try and find the toilet. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely chocker in there. Look at it, just slide. Wow, it's also like absolutely chocker, blocker, mocker. Look at the slide in Wow, oh yes, that's like a slide that goes around the outside, isn't it? Then they've got like a splash pool just there. That looks like kind of like a hot tub or something. And they've got a big main pool here. Wow, and then another bit up there. So I'm just gonna start filming for now. We've had a little look at the water park, haven't we? And, oh, who is this? Why do you And you're going to the water park? What? I did think it. And your teddy's rolling, boy. I definitely guessed. <laughs> I did say, why? I thought, well, if mummy's against services, is she getting cases? They thought maybe daddy, but then I thought maybe daddy's getting cases. <laughs> 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 we're going to go to our room now. Yeah, we're going to go to our room. We're going to go to our room now. Yeah, we're staying here for the night. And, and me and you, listen, me and you are going in the water park later. We've got tickets for the water park later on. And we're going to go back to Walton Towers tomorrow. <laughs> so we're here. One, three, one, two. Let's see. Did you put the key in? Oh, you just touch it. Did it work? Oh, it did. Lights and lights on. Let's oh see. wow, this is amazing. Oh. This is amazing. There's a bunk bed here. No way. Is there any more lights, Mrs. There's anywhere you can turn on? There's a lamp here that we can turn on. Oh, there we go. Daddy's turned them on, I think. Wow, this is lovely, isn't it? Lamps. Oh, turn the lights. Are you turning the lights out now? Turn them back on. That's it. So we've oh, got Mummy and Daddy's bed here. I'm just going to take off my coat. This oh, is nice. Look at my Oh my gosh, she's soaking wet, Matilda. We've got bunk beds here. Bunk bed. You've never had a bunk bed before, have you? Bunk so Matilda's going to love that tonight. And you're going to sleep up there tonight, Mrs. Yeah. How cool is that going to be? You've got so your own I bunk bed? bed I usually roll in my no, room. because it's got the bars and hasn't it, so you'll be okay. This is actually really, really cozy. <laughs> do you want to do a bit of a room talk? Yeah, so... Right, I'm going to start over here. So we've got the bed here. This is the main bed. It, right. I'm going to say it looks only like a double. It doesn't even look as big as our one at home, does it? This is really um, nice. Two bedside lights, phone. I'm not seeing any plugs there, though. Is there any kind of 
No, I don't think there's any charging on this point either. No, there's no USB and no charges there either. That's a bit disappointing. I'm getting the covers, I'm very um, cold. Then we have um, Matilda's bu like a bunk bed here, so you could have two children here in a bunk bed. It's so cold, everybody. That's the door there. So on the opposite side, we have some nice artwork here. Then we've got a nice desk. This lamp's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Like tropical themed lamp, that's nice. Um, Matilda, that's Matilda's bag there. Then we have our little desk here. We've got a kettle. Um, we've got mugs. Do we have like tea and coffee in here maybe? Yeah, I'm assuming tea and coffee is going to be um, in here. Yeah. It's be oh, there's a room service menu. Food available from 3pm till 10pm. Drinks from 3 till 11 and a minimum order of £10. So they've got pizzas. Um, I think it's oh it's all pizza it's so it's all twelve inch pizzas. There's a kids burger, um, chicken or quan goujons, chicken grilled wrap, and there's three side options as well. And then on the back there is cans, bottles, wine, snacks, and soft drinks. Um, oh yes, yeah, so we've got quite a bit in that um, envelope, and didn't we? There's tea, there's coffee, there's milk. There's actually some biscuits as well. That's quite nice. Um, there is a nice mirror there as well, like a yeah, full-length mirror. The exact same. Then, as we come back to the front door, there is a little wardrobe here. So it's only a small wardrobe. You get, um, let's see, one, two, three, four. But you get six hangers and an iron. So there's an iron and an ironing board. I think this is like a pack and play, like a travel cot here. Um, some storage shelf there. Then, as we came in there, the bathroom's just here. So this is the bathroom. There's two little cups there for water. Then it's only basic, but it's nice. You've got nice towels. Here we've got body wash, soap, and bath and shower gel. That's lovely. Toilet. And then behind the door, we have the shower. So it's a shower bath combo. And um, there's a bath mat as well, which is good. Another little towel there. So you can either have a shower or you could have a bath. The only thing I'm not actually seeing is any actual shampoo, um, which is alarming because we didn't bring that with us because I thought there would be some. But that's definitely bath and shower gel. That's body wash and that's soap. Um, so maybe that's something to know that you could possibly um, not be getting shampoo and conditioner. So you maybe need to bring that with you. Nice big mirror here as well in the bathroom. There's a little bin there in the bathroom as well. And then that's... Our room, isn't it? Yeah. She's up there. waiting for the toilet. And there's another light there. Oh, is this like the air con thing as well? Yeah, and there's a fan there. Did you see the fan? Oh, yeah, there's a fan. Oh, sorry, there's a TV as well. So in this corner here, yeah, I can next to us, there's like a TV stand. So there's a TV, um, a little desk like um, stand there, and there's a wall fan. And then we've actually got a view of the gardens. Oh, um yeah you can just see like the tree oh gosh no just push the window um oh, you can just kind of see the trees and stuff at the moment so it looks like a nice room doesn't it oh, it's comfortable yeah, it's nice. looks it's nice it's nice tea, and quiet yeah. um oh there's no fridge there's three little drawers there with a hair dryer there on that shelf and i did notice there's also another plug another hair dryer there like attached to the wall i'm not sure what that's for yeah, and then that's a little cabinet. There's a hairdryer attached there and an actual hairdryer in there. It says splash door number three. I wonder if like somebody's asked for a better hairdryer and they've just left it in here last time. Um, yeah, oh, the chair's nice as well. It's got that nice pattern on it. So I think we're going to have a little chill now and then we'll catch back. We've just come from our room and we're now on the floor. What floor are we on? Sorry, they've already gone. I can't remember what floor we're on. But we've come through the walkway to go through to the Alton Towers Hotel. So we have to come this way on this walkway. So hot. Oh my gosh, you have to come outside into the water park. This is really strange. Well, this is the walkway to the Alton Towers Hotel. So 
so we're kind of in one of those rooms, but we're not good enough because we're facing like something else. So there's an outdoor bit there as well. I'm just being careful at the minute of what um, I'm filming. Yeah, so the slide chucked you out outside there by the looks of it. Oh, there is a lady in the Yeah. So we keep walking all the way along this path. I do think that is to get rid of a ring, you know. Oh, oh, oh. That's where you get the little rings from there. Yeah. And then now we've come out of the water park. Oh, that was a bit cooler there now. And now we're actually into the Alton Towers Hotel. Oh, no, do not sink off. Sing sorry, everybody. No, this is, yeah. Alton Towers Hotel. Uh, so with Alton Towers Resort Conference Centre. That just says exit to car parks. Yeah, that's what you We're on a mystery tour at the minute. I like this um, wallpaper. It's really nice, isn't it? It's like got all different places on it. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. This is like when you've been in Disney and you've been out at the parks all day and you go into air conditioning yeah. and it's like lovely and cool and chilled and this nice soft carpet on your feet and smells nice. Oh, <laughs> we don't have a clue where we're going, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were trying to come out so that we didn't get wet. Oh, well, is that a water slide? Oh, I wonder if that's that mega blaster, maybe. So we've ended up coming right out. We should have probably gone the way of the conference centre. Yeah. Oh no, we really are outside. You don't normally have to come outside. We've just obviously gone the wrong way. Yeah. Normally you can just come straight across without going outside. That's the whole idea of the walkway. But we obviously... Oh, so that car park doesn't look busy. Oh, so the Alton Towers Hotel has its own car park, whereas we're the Splash Landing, so we seem to share with... Um, so I think the Alton Towers Hotel is where they have, like, the themed rooms as well. Yeah. Um, but they're going to say that. Splash Landings, they did have some. They had Ice Age, didn't they, I think? Yeah. Um, so this is the entrance. They've got a funky-looking... What would you call that? A rocket car? Yeah. I think it is meant to be a bit like an explorer's hotel, yeah, isn't it? it feels burning. Like um, tomorrow man doing something like that. What's it meant to be like? It feels burning. Oh, so here we go. This is the entrance. Very, very this nice. is very nice. A lot nicer than the entrance of Splash Landings, I have to say. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Like a Moroccan kind of theme. That is lovely. Oh, Matilda's gone straight to the gift shop. As you can imagine, so you come in and there is a gift shop that way. Um, Check-in and reception area is there. And then here, this looks lovely. Oh, this is a completely different hotel. It's a lot more chilled out. That's like an actual boat down there. And it's like a full-on hot air balloon up there. This is absolutely beautiful. This was a lot more expensive though, this hence where we're not staying here. Um, so they have a welcome lounge there. They also have what a Costa Coffee coffee portal, um, which isn't open at the moment. Have you seen this? I do think though it's possible that it is quieter because a lot of people in our hotel are actually just for the water park. Um, like a lot of people when I was going to the guest services then, because our remote control in our room doesn't actually have batteries in. Um, and when I was asking at guest services, lots of people were coming up and coming up and she kept saying to them, go down these stairs and round this way, go down these stairs and round this way for water park check-in. So I do think a lot of it is because people are going to the water park. Um, whereas obviously we're not doing that. Oh, there's the CBBS one over there. 
So we don't think we can actually go in the CBB's hotel because we think that actually is specifically reserved and for CBB's land guests. Yeah, we're not allowed, wasn't allowed to book the restaurant over there because that's specifically reserved for um, guests of CBB's land. CBB's land? CBB, yeah, I feel that's such a summer vlog, so this is a lot nicer, isn't it? Like, I feel like when you come in, it's a lot quieter, it's a lot more not like a lot more formal because it is still quite friendly so this looks like their that must be like one of their restaurants yeah we tried but we can't get a reservation it's a secret garden restaurant and um, but there's a little look for you at the menu so they've got classic you know sausage and mash fish and chips salmon duck the prices aren't too bad either so this is it here it looks beautiful a secret garden restaurant it's so pretty and here they actually have a full-on bar area here as well this is called the dragon's bar so that's lovely oh you're in the bottom of the ship now on the bottom we can see this much better wow that is lovely oh has not been designed as play equipment it is therefore not suitable to climb on that's lovely down here. There's like all this space here that you can just have a sit down, have a drink, have a chill. But it's lovely at like night time as well when you just want to come for a little rest. Really beautiful there. So we were just on that um, middly level there before. Oh, sorry, I just had to take a photo of them because I thought that was a really good opportunity. I'm gonna head out here and just see what I can say. Oh, this says Captain's Bar. Ah, but that's not open, so that must be something else behind there as well. So they must have a Captain's Bar here, the speakers as well, so I'm assuming that maybe they have like live music or something at some point. I definitely would say it's more of an adulty orientated hotel. Not that it's not child friendly, but I just think it's definitely more adulty. Um, this is lovely, I can imagine if the weather's really nice. Oh, it looks like you can scan the QR code and order from your table here. That's possibly like a little pop-up bar tent at some point. Oh, the duck's quacking at me. But this is really pretty here. Ah, it looks like the spa's over there as well. And then that's definitely the CBB's Land Hotel there. But um, like we said before, I don't think you can actually get into it. I don't even know where the entrance to it is. Um, I haven't actually seen the entrance. This is all that secret garden restaurant from the outside. So we just came out of those double doors over there. So this is all the secret garden restaurant. So it's very big. Um, like I said, unfortunately, we did try because it looked really nice, but we unfortunately we couldn't get a reservation for it. Um, but it does look lovely. It actually smells lovely as well. Like the smells coming out of it. I'm bobbing over here because I think I've just seen like a children's play area. Um, so I'm just trying to have a little nosy to see if I am right. I mean, it's a rain, it's, it's not raining now. The rain has gone off, but everything's still a little bit wet. So um, Matilda still wouldn't be able to play on it, but I just wanted to see. Oh, there is, it's only tiny, but this is quite nice. So there's like a little trail here that you can cross. There's a seesaw here. Oh, like this nice soft floor as well. And there's like a little swing. And it looks like there's some steps down there, which I'm assuming goes into the CBB's hotel because it looks like you can get access that way. And then there's some little ducks here. There's a little park. There's a little park area. They can't hear me. I'm shouting to them like four times, but they're just not listening at me. They're on the other side of the lake now. So I'm just going to have a walk around just to see if I can see anything in the CBBs for you. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to, but I thought it'd be nice to have a little meander, as we say. I can spot lots of these little CBBs. Um, I don't actually know what they're called. I always think they look like chicken nuggets. But to be honest, I don't actually know what they're called. Oh, it looks really funky inside there, though. I can just see inside a little bit. Um, maybe that's one of the food places that we couldn't go to. But it's lovely round here. Right, we'll head round and we'll catch back up in a moment. Aunt and Matilda came looking for me. And did you go on the park, Matilda? Yes. It is small, so I recommend it for four year olds. 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 Four
God, it's really small. It is small, isn't it? What, yeah. what is that? Oh, I don't know what that bird is actually. Oh, Dad, come here. Come here.
and Matilda's burger and chips has arrived, hooray! It's like absolutely boiling though. It is just a plain hamburger and chips, but it is actually quite a big thick bun that, you know. It's like a brioche bun. Yeah, I think it is a brioche bun. Are you happy now? Yeah. Yes, so you're gonna have your burger and chips. Yeah. Right, so we've come on this path again that we came on before. But now obviously nobody's in the water park, it's a great opportunity for me to film it for you. Um, I could have filmed it out of the glass windows upstairs, but it's really loud and there's loads of music playing. So I thought it was easier just to kind of film it through here like this. So you can see in front just here, this little, um, what's it called? That little tub there is like a um, hot tub area. Then there is a children's water play there for like smaller children and um, it has like a tiny little slide at the side there you can just make it out and um, we'll go a bit further around so you can see more of it looks really pretty now at night time though because none of these lights were up before so it does look really really pretty doesn't it uh, so you can kind of see how big it is now so that's like the really like little toddler children's area the slides and things you can see the pool just in front there that's like the lazy river pool gosh it looks so different with just nobody in it it's crazy yeah that's the lookout tower in the middle where um matilda was stood oh no i was gonna say she was stood wetting people she wasn't stood wetting people there that was on the other tower so you can see oh that's the staff lookout tower yeah so just on the lookout tower there just um you can actually just well you can't really make it out but there's like a blue sign oh, is it that and there's actually thing? scales on the floor the scales are to weigh yourself oh, oh my gosh uh -huh. oh it didn't work out very well did it <laughs> the scales are to weigh yourself before you go on the um what's it called matilda master blaster because there's a 20 i think it's 21 stone weight limit but that's also a combined weight limit if you go in a double and um, but you can weigh yourself before you go on because they do weigh you at the top they expect you to stand on a scale and wait till it and if the, if the light goes green you're fine you i think you know they're not telling you and the lights or i think the light's basically always green unless it went on red you'd always be on a green um so you can just kind of make out the bottom of two of the slides there that's the slides that you go on with the yellow tubes and you basically get the tubes from underneath where we're stood here the top of the slush and gusher slide though slush and gusher i'm thinking in blizzard beach the top of the master blaster is up there and that's also the top of where you get on the yellow ones as well but i sorry but i can't remember the name of them that big wooden structure there is like the children's play area one. So that's where there's all different guns for them to fire, like water jet guns. There's little buckets that they can tip up. You can see the lazy river's just there. Um, lots of like little things they can play on, things to tip, things to pour. Um, it doesn't look right now because it's really, really dark. Uh, and then you can even see like on the lazy river there that there's like some, um, buckets and things there they fill and they tip over your head there's like a water spout that comes down um lots of things like that that happen so it is really like you know loads and loads that you can do and then this little pathway across here was where you went to the outside to get to the outdoor rides um to the outdoor water area so i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see that now because i'm assuming they've turned all the lights off for that as well no so we're going to head to the Alton Towers Hotel and we're just going to see if it's as busy as the hotel that we're in. 